All right, folks, we're going to get started. Good afternoon. My name is Mark Dubowitz, and on behalf of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, I'd like to welcome you to the inaugural conference of the Center on Sanctions and Illicit Finance. I'm the executive director of FDD, and, and I direct CSIF. Now, if you're uh, arriving late or if you haven't arrived at all, not to worry. And if you saw this weekend's Wall Street Journal had a great article on the benefits of actually not being punctual. Um, it was a fascinating article, very funny. The writer described that the rewards actually for being punctual include awful movie previews, um, insipid opening acts, bad bass solos, and, and dull opening remarks. And so for those of you who've had the bad sense to show up on time, let me move quickly through these opening remarks so that we can get to the much more fascinating panels and the keynote speakers. I just have a few minutes of your time. Just uh, I want to acknowledge the incredible talent that guides our work. FDD has worked on sanctions issues for now almost a decade. And in 2014, we just decided to start a dedicated center. And we were lucky to have a stellar and experienced team already in place. But we also wanted to bring in new talent to challenge our thinking, to expand the ambit of our work. And we really struck gold. And for those of you, uh, who know Jim Rickards, who's one of our advisors at CSIF, and you've read Currency Wars and the Death of Money. Gold is absolutely the this key to our future success, both as a country and certainly as a center. I'm going to continue plugging people's books all through my opening remarks. And uh, speaking of a, a, a truly amazing book, uh, Treasury War by Juan Zarate, I want to talk a little bit about our chairman and senior counselor, Juan Zarate. Now, many of you know Juan, you've worked with Juan, uh, you've been hugged by Juan, and uh, <laughs> you know Juan from, from Treasury, uh, where he led the creation of the Office of Terrorism and Financial Intelligence. And Juan has heard me say this many times, and I'm going to say it again, really, as his publicist. Um, his book is the definitive work on, on our topic, and his work guides uh, much of the work that we're going to be doing at at the center, both in terms of current offensive economic warfare, but also looking at uh, the future, the future challenges and threats to the United States and our allies as uh, our adversaries begin to use some of the uh, tools and instruments of, of economic warfare against us. Our other uh, senior counselor, senior advisor is Chip Ponce. Uh, he's a leader on anti-money laundering and financial transparency. He was the first ever director of the Office for Strategic Policy at Treasury's Terrorism Financing and Financial Crimes Unit. It's a result of CHIP's work that FATF, the Financial Action Task Force, has integrated counter illicit finance into its agenda and become an important global voice on, on financial integrity. I've never uh, had the pleasure of working with someone like CHIP who has such deep technical skills and a, an acute understanding and really a visionary. And he's very much been instrumental in, in the creation of CSIF. So thank you, CHIP. Juan, Juan and Chip really are truly fine gentlemen, uh, two of the, the finest public servants of the past couple of decades, and two of the most decent, likable, and honorable people in this town. And, and really, it's been a great honor and pleasure to work with both of them in the launch of, of CSIF. To, uh, to my left is my colleague, Jonathan Shanzer. He's our vice president for research, former terrorism finance analyst at Treasury and really brings an eye for research and analysis that moves policy dials. He's done groundbreaking work on illicit finance and Sunni extremist networks. He doesn't shy away from challenging conventional wisdom. Uh, he certainly has been taking a good hard look at some of America's allies, uh, like Turkey and Qatar. And by the way, I'd commend a piece in the Wall Street Journal today by, by Jay Solomon a groundbreaking piece on, on Qatar and illicit finance, well-timed for the Emir's visit to the White House today. I'm sure there was no coincidence. Um, by the way, if, if you're not following John Chanzer on Twitter, you, you must. Uh, for, for a PhD, it's amazing how John can boil down uh, such deep and penetrating insights into 140 characters. So follow, follow John. As we began to create CSIF, uh, Juan and Chip and John and I realized that we needed a, a strong analytical mind and someone who could serve as our director of analysis. And we were very fortunate to bring on Yaya Fanusi, who is somebody who worked with Juan. He was also part of FDD's National Security Fellows Program. 
And before joining CSIF, Yaya was an outstanding intelligence analyst with deep experience in counterterrorism and counter threat finance. Uh, if you haven't met Yaya, please do. He is, uh, his personal story is fascinating. His transformation from, from math tutor to CIA analyst uh, is remarkable, and, and we're pleased to have Yaya, who actually, unlike many of us at CSIF, knows how to add. So we are very, very delighted uh, to have these folks join the team, our existing FDD colleagues uh, who are our friends and uh, who are really have developed deep expertise in this area. And finally, also a board of advisors of former senior government officials from state and treasury, Justice, Homeland Security, the NSC, FBI, DEA, the former ambassadors and former intelligence officials, leading scholars, practitioners, and strategists from think tanks, academia, and the final community. You will hear from uh, some of them today. Please uh, check our website for a complete list. They are remarkable people with remarkable backgrounds, and we're privileged to have them as part of our team. So now that I've hopefully spared you the pain of a long uh, opening remark, or, or perhaps not, I want to turn it over to Jay Solomon from the Wall Street Journal. And, and just say this about Jay. Jay is one of those rare reporters who actually drives conversations in Washington on foreign policy, and he's going to moderate our first panel. 